Hey, love and light star seeds. Wow, so um listen, I'm picking up a great grandfather here, okay? We've been we picked up on some of y'all grandmothers, some of y'all great aunts. Alright, but now I'm picking up on your great grandfather, okay? And I put on my community tab how um you know my dad had told me everything. So I feel like this is for definitely for my collective. Yeah, I'm sorry for my hair. But I feel like you guys, your your ancestors are telling you everything, everything that was happening behind the scenes. Everything that you didn't know. For some of you guys, they've been trying to tell you stuff in your dreams, but you just couldn't understand what it is you were seeing. I'm also getting why. You also didn't understand why this was happening to you. Like, why your karmas was after you. You know, why they was doing spell work or whatever. All right, but I feel like you're finally finding out the why here, okay? For a lot of you guys, someone, I keep getting somebody is still trying to pin you for, like, being, like, a copycat or whatever like that. Somebody is, like... Trying to pin you down as a copycat, okay? Feel like this person is out of breath, out of energy, and out of time, okay? And they're out of their mind here, okay? But, um, yeah, I had a dream with my dad at this morning, okay? And, um, I'm not going to get into too much detail. Should I? I mean, who cares, right? Because we already know that the karmic is watching. They can't do anything. We're giving them the power by us thinking, being in fear, thinking they can take it from us. All right, so my dad, he came to me as a killer whale. A killer whale, okay? Um, one of those black and white type of whales. And, um, you know, we talked about our um, whale ancestors and our dolphin, el um, our dolphin ancestors or elders. All right, and um, so that makes sense why he came to me as a whale. And he told me, like, I kept seeing him over and over. Every time I'm trying to cross over to the, the next side, I would see my dad at come and be like, you know, she sent me here. And then that's when I would, like, go back. <laughs> and, like, you know, I, it seemed like I would go back and, like, replay the cycle and handle things differently. But then I will see my dad at come right back and be like, you know, she sent me here. And then I didn't understand. First of all, I didn't understand what who that whale was. I never saw my dad <laughs> as a whale. So, you know, the consciousness that I had, I don't know. Okay, the thing is, it's, like, it's almost like. I was seeing a, a bird eye view of myself, okay? And it, it seems like the cycle I was playing out in the 3D was I was also mirroring that same cycle somewhere else, okay? So this was this these um spiritual attacks, these, these warfare that we have with these karmics is not just in the third realm. And rather they, these karmics know it or not, they're not also in the third realm. Some of them, I did say in my last read, some of them are like literally bound to the 3D. Like there's, there's only one part to them and that's in the 3D. But for some of you guys, you have a little stronger karmic. This could be like a witch. When I mentioned that, that was definitely about a, a karmic masculine. Now, for some of you guys, take it how it resonates. If it felt like in your heart it was for someone else, then go ahead. Okay, I never really try to say like Pacific 2 certain so much because I know it's different for all you guys. All right, but in this case, I'm getting like a witch. Okay, like this witch is knowledgeable and she's aware of certain, you know, things about spirituality. She's aware of like different realms and worlds. At least she says she does. Okay, she may know about it, but she may not be too experienced. Well, experienced, but like. You know, actually traveling to these other worlds or, like, interacting, okay? And a lot of these karmics are soulless. So, it's like, a, even though a part of them is in the 3D, the other, they can have another part of them that's in another realm. That, and they, they this, the reason why they're not aware that they're in another realm is because that part of them is gone. All right? They're, that, they're soulless. That part of them is gone now. So, if it's in, like, you know, if they're, like, in a realm that's, like, an inner earth here, okay? Or let's just say they're in another reality, Okay, that part of them that's in the 3D is not connected with that. So they would never, ever see themselves experiencing that reality. And maybe it's a good thing because maybe that other side of them is 10 times more eviler than the one that's in the 3D. Right. And, you know, it's just best that they probably don't know. All right. The most high have it set up like that for a reason. Right. But, um, yeah, so I'm seeing myself, you know, in eyes above, so below. So whatever I'm doing up there, whatever my other self, my other half is doing up there, it's going to help me integrate. And it might, it's most likely my future self. Spirit just said my future self. So most likely that integration in that future self will help, help me integrate in the 3D, okay? The 3D will also be like our past self, Spirit just said, okay? Yeah, because, wow, 
Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, even though we're here in the present moment in the 3D, there's higher realms and dimensions where we already experienced this, and that's why we are in that future self. Now, you got some people in the future. You'll go in the future, and you'll see they still like how they are in the, in the present. That's because they're not elevating or ascending to a higher realm, all right, or, you know, a higher reality or whatever like that. Okay, but like I said, as I'm recycling, I will go, I guess I was going right back and repeating the cycle, and... You know, every time I'll get to the finish line, my dad will come and be like, no, like, you have to, like, learn this lesson first. So I know the reason why I probably haven't fully, like, I guess integrated with my future self is because the lesson is still playing out on my karmics. I know I've done my work and I've done what I need to. I feel like that energy is mainly going for the karmic that who needs to learn their lesson because, well, it's, I'm not going to say the mainly because it was me, but in a sense of, I guess the lesson is attached to me. All right, so maybe it's like Spirit is saying this karmic is never going to, you know, disappear out of my life until, I guess, you know, I continue to do what I'm doing like 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 so. And I feel like my success is going to be the biggest lesson for her. All right, but I'm also getting, it's like I have to switch my perspective because, you know, this karmic was in my head so much doing stuff that she don't even know what she was doing. All right, it's like, and now it's like I have to switch my perspective and not look at everything from like, you know, I, I don't want to track any haters, you know. I don't want to, you know, put myself too much out there as far as, like, my light and my shine because I don't want the hater to be mad at me. I have to switch that consciousness because it's, like, that's me giving that's me giving a part of my power to them, part of myself to them. And, you know, them hating on me, them being jealous of me, it does not matter. It should not matter. Okay? So, it's, like, yeah. I, but let me just keep going. So, I feel like, you know... This is definitely a message for the karmic, though, because I know she's watching. All right. And I know you was using my dad at. OK, so he is saying you're going to keep repeating the cycle until you learn your lesson about who I am. OK. And, you know, I'm not repeating any cycles with you. <laughs> All right. I'm not repeating any cycle with you. My lesson that I need to learn is to not give a fuck about what a hater have to say. Don't allow a, a hater to, you know, to dim my light and make me be afraid to put myself out there and to be myself. You get what I'm saying? Because their spells is never going to work. I'm always going to put myself out there. But it's like, you know, I shouldn't be afraid to express, express certain parts of myself, okay? I shouldn't have to worry about if I'm attract a hater, if a hater going to say this. Like, I should just be myself at all times, okay? And that's the lesson that I definitely, you know, I feel like I had to learn with these karmic haters is like, fuck the haters. Make them your motivators. Make them, allow their hate to make you better, okay? Don't allow their hate to bring you down. All right, but my dad also showed me the reason why you was repeating this lesson is because she was calling me. This is why, you know, you wasn't really feeling me like that. And I mentioned that. I said, damn, dad, it's like I feel you, but I know you're not here. Why am I feeling you like way up in the star, like way in the heavens? You get what I'm saying? And that's fine. But, you know, my dad is always here. He's multidimensional. He can, he's tapping in and out of the heavens all the time. Okay, and um, he told me about all my karmics, even the one that was, like, using him on against me, right? But, let me keep going. He was basically, um, damn, what was I about to say? Because I lost my train of thought. I always lose my train of thought because I be going on about other things. All right, but, yeah, he was basically telling me that, you know, I was repeating, you know, this site well no she was continuously repeating the cycle the reason why she wasn't going anywhere because she was repeatedly you know reopening up the cycle by conjuring or calling in my ancestors to work against me it's almost like yeah she was definitely blocking my path and trying to use my ancestors to do it but my ancestors wanted me to learn a lesson all right and wanted me to learn about what she was doing the lesson is you know don't give a f about what she said all right and what i needed to learn was that she was actually calling in my dad to do spell work against me which was stupid. You know, you never want to do that. You never want to use someone else's ancestors against them. Because they're loyal to that person. That's like me using the karmic ancestors against them. Like, no. They're going to be loyal to them. Okay, now, unless I'm doing... Unless I'm a criminal, then that's different. Then, you know, most likely they'll probably, like, turn me in or whatever like that. All right, but, you know, in this in this karmic's case, and in, in all y'all cases, do not do that. That's not smart. Okay, because she got herself caught up in a whole lot of issues right now because of that. But the dream, you know, it was definitely a good dream. He came to me and, you know, the energy I felt was like, you know, he was protecting me. But he wanted me to know about her. And this is why, you know, I was repeating so many damn cycles, you know, back to back. It's like, as far as her not leaving my life, you know, I'm still moving forward, doing my thing. But, she, 
she was still re recycling back into my life. You know what I mean? And it was because it's like, you know, um, um, uh, you know, among other things, you know, her using my ancestors, I feel like that was like the biggest, like the, the greatest crime. Okay, well, also less for her to repeat a whole bunch of cycles. It's a lot of confusion. I feel like this karmic, you know, created a whole bunch of confusion for, you know, herself, her life, and, you know, and a lot of confusion in the cosmos here because of, you know, her confused mind alone. It's like she's one of the people that don't get a lot of the stuff that I say because she's not connected. Her crown is not connected to the higher realms. Her crown, her crown is connected in the 4D, and, and it's like whatever it is that she already knows, she, like, created fostered like illusions around that so it makes her think that she already knows she already this and that and it's not true you know she watch a lot of people that's already tapped in so you know she sucks in that information absorb it and then you know be talking about like how she's talking as if she channeled it herself and it's just you know it's it's just ridiculous it's really ridiculous but you know you you overdid it when you you try to conjure my own data to use against me all because you're upset that he's telling me about your wicked plans this is the age of aquarius you can't hide behind your fake mask anymore and that's a message for all the karmics they can't hide no more that's why a lot of them are getting caught here moon reverse i can't make nothing up moon reverse you guys they're getting exposed all right, the karmic want to sit up here and say it's you that's doing this. It's you causing it, um, causing I guess all this mayhem in their, in their life, and it's not true. It's the divine. All right, they're going. I told you, they're going to be going to jail or spiritual jail for uh, if listen. If it's spiritual jail, it's because of all their black magic. They committed crimes by you know using black magic here. Now it's like they feel like disconnected with this introvert. They could be. You know, feeling disconnected from certain people. It's like things ain't working well for them. They feel like, you know, ending their life. This could have been a friend. Like I said, you know, they're they're disconnecting from, well, let me say it differently. This could be a friend. Okay, like I said, in other readings and stuff like that. But I'm also getting, like, they are disconnecting from, like, certain friends here. They should have been disconnected from you as well as far as, like, disconnected from your energy, tapped out of your energy instead of being, like, obsessed with it. All right, it was tapped in your energy by, you know, spying on you, looking into your energy, looking you up and all type of stuff like that. It's like people don't want to talk to them anymore. People want to, like talk to like new people like being new energy this karmic is always in the same energy here it's like they're very much pretending and spirit have evidence case evidence that you know that's gonna go will work against them to show and prove that they really wasn't focused on their ace of pentacles like they say all right they do a lot of spell work to make people a puppet so they can do what they say this person is mad because they're getting exposed and it's like they can't do nothing about it this person didn't want to listen they was being very 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 stubborn all right, and they didn't want to listen to the fact that they was going to get caught. Hi, and that Hi, baby. And that none of their plans was going to work. They didn't want to hear that. This person is, is learning a, a valuable lesson here. They are. Even if they're not admitting it, they are learning a lesson. And I feel like there's many more to come. Yeah, this person is going to jail because they was too focused on your goals here. In the sense of they was too focused on, like, your goals following you to, like, I guess, your achievements here, your purpose. There we go. It says purpose right here. Your goal, your your purpose is your goal. Your goal is your purpose, I should say. And this person is going to jail for trying for trying to steal your goals, copycat your goals, feed off of your inspirational energy that's 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 giving you energy to you know head towards your goals here. All right, this person is getting locked up for that, being spiritually locked up for trying to steal your goals, coming after your goals, following you, and they wasn't supposed to. Some For some of you guys, they was following you in the car. They were, like, really stalking you, like, heavy stalking, heavy gang stalking, all right? Anyone that was gang stalking with this karmic, they're getting put down. This karmic was after your goals. They wanted to have the same goals and achievements as you, and they figured copying you would, would, would work. Honestly... I feel like this karmic don't know who who they are anymore. They don't know if they the queen of if they are the queen of wands or not here. All right, I'm getting the queen of wands. Somebody magic got them so confused about who they are. It's because they're soulless and they're not attached to their to their soul parts anymore. Whatever higher realm that a part of them did reach, they're disconnected from that realm, and a part of them is still roaming around in that realm, that dimension, that reality. You know, and I'm getting they're causing mayhem in that realm too. They're gonna be removed from that realm, star seeds. Okay, but this person don't know who they are anymore. They, This person is talking to ghosts, deadly spirits here. Dead, they're talking to ghosts. They're talking to ghosts here. It's not no high vibrational spirit, no ascended spirit. It's ghosts here. And I'm getting, um, these ghosts are their ancestors. Okay, a lot of it, I'm getting, 
a lot of their ancestors did not pass um over to the heavens here. Okay, they they like could be earthbound. Or, you know, there's spirits that have not ascended to the heavens, but they can still tap in and out of the 3D and the, and the 4D. And they can tap into any other realm. They can tap into your mind. They're, all right, their ancestors need to be put down, too, because they're roaming around, lying to them, and then causing mayhem and trouble in other, other people's lives. This is someone that sent, you know, their ancestors after other people to cause mayhem and, and, and chaos and stagnancy, strife. With the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like now people don't want to hang out with them. It's like, this person don't give friendship goals. You don't get friendship goals energy with this karmic. You can't ascend as a friend with this karmic. If this is a lover, all right, you can't ascend with them. Even if y'all just friends, y'all can't ascend with this damn lover. Like, you know, they be like, oh, let's just be friends. You can't ascend with them. All right, this, this, this person have a lot of lessons to learn. They don't even understand the true meaning of friendship. All right, and how a friend could be a true gem in your life and how a friend can really change your life for the better. This karmic don't understand the true, you know, meaning of friendship, the true purpose of having a friend. They take advantage of their friends. They bite the hand that feeds them. They mad because you sleeping good at night while they stuck at night look, thinking about you, looking you up. They choose to do this because they upset. They don't know how to, you know, chill out with their obsessions. They don't know how to heal their obsessions, calm their obsessions. They wanted to have you as a marinette here. All right, we have dictatorship. They want to have dictatorship over your life, your children's life, and they're receiving severe karma, severe consequences for that star seed. Listen, I got to write this as a title, okay? They're suffering from severe consequences. Yeah, they were trying to sue you. Wow. Well. I don't know. I'm getting this karmic is suffering from severe consequences now is now okay I'm gonna put, is now suffering from severe consequences for using domination magic over your life because i'm getting that's domination magic we spoke about this this is domination magic they didn't want to listen they didn't want to listen to the fact that you know they was going to receive karma for doing black magic on you they they figured it was fair it was righteous you hurt them all right so in the end you know they they was like it's righteous but this karma don't want to talk about what led to you, quote unquote, hurting them? And your you hurting them could have just been you separating from them, blocking them out. That hurt them. They're codependent. They didn't expect for you to just do that. Okay, so they was like, I'm gonna get back at you. This it's like this karma don't know how to work with the spirits. They don't. All right, and look, domination, dominating magic, resistance. They wanted you. Oh, reluctant. All right, reluctance. They wanted you to like resist and like hold back from like your true self. All right, yeah, look. The hangman, they wanted you to be stagnant. They wanted you to be spiritually stagnant, hanged, and, and sh I'm getting hanged from your higher self, stripped and ripped from your higher self. All right, this karmic could have hanged you in a past life. They, they're, This karmic could have had, like, um, slave masters in their bloodline. All right, they could have been a whole slave master here. All right, yeah, we have libation. I feel like this karmic was, like, praying or praising to, like, slave masters. That's for somebody. Somebody is crazy like that, or their ancestors, like I said, are they was praising their ancestors, but they're slave masters. All right, that's for someone. Yeah, and I'm seeing two grandparents right here. Two grandparents, great grandparents that watch over you. They love you and your children. See that page? This is a page of um Pentacles. Yeah. Your past you listen, your your grandparents, your great grandparents are watching you on the other side, watching you from the other side and is also defeating this karmic. They got the right one. I'm telling you. That's I think that's going to be the title. They are suffering. This karmic was after a lot of tarot readers I'm getting. 
They was after a lot of tarot readers. I feel like this karmic don't know what libation is or like what type of libation they should do for themselves to like clear their energy. I'm getting that's what they get for attacking tarot readers. All right, this person, they, I'm getting, they don't want religion. They don't know how to pray. And they're afraid to like, I guess, go and get spiritual help from somewhere else because they're afraid of people finding out the truth about them. They should have just moved on from you with this adventure. That's what I'm getting. They should have looked elsewhere. All right, because it's like this person... I'm getting, they don't want you to focus on your, your, your passions, your adventure, your passions, your ancestors chose your passions for you, whatever it is you're passionate about, your ancestors chose you for is like, chose you to be like, I guess, you know, you're the chosen one in the bloodline. So they chose you to have these passions. It could have been given to anyone else, but you're chosen. You are like, you know, the crown one in the bloodline, even if the other crown, um, family members around you, right? They, they may have their own little individual crown, but you have the biggest crown. You have, you know, the most knowledge, the most experience, more, more respected, more honored here. You are definitely crowned. This karmic was trying to say you're not crowned. You don't have no crown. You guys, y'all got to be careful with people. This is a dangerous person. This is someone that don't have anything, and they will put that energy on other people. This is a down presser. This is a negative person that sucks. They absorb. You know, negative is dark, all right? Light reflects but dark absorbs okay this person is absorbing a lot of people energy all right but i'm getting that is not at least they used to do that in the past i'm getting like they used to absorb a lot of people energy and they're still doing it but it's not working like how it did in the past it's working against them it's like whatever they're absorbing there's attachments that come with that and those attachments are like spirits all right and I'm seeing swords they're being attacked right now star seeds this is what they get they try it's like they try to like set you up so you can be you know, a marionette, you know, f for them. Like, be their little puppet, okay? They had this sought out for you here. They wanted you to be like a disaster, stuck in disaster energy. All right, and they need to make up with the most high. They need to make up with the most high. All right, they need to pray. They need they need to humble. They're not humble. They have no morals. There's no good energy within their spirit. They're very sour. Yeah, I feel like all they care about is gain. All they care about is how they're going to gain and one up um over the next person. All right, that's all they care about is cultivating other people's energy. Profit. How are they going to profit off of someone else's energy? All right, how are they going to profit off of someone else's, like, I guess, spiritual connection here? All right, we have conclusion. Yeah, I feel like this karmic, this... This karmic cycle is closing out. It's coming to a conclusion. I feel like they're going to, like, die in the state of mind that they're in. Yeah, they was being a bully, and now they feel like they're being bullied. Now they feel like they're being bullied, Starcy. This was a big bully. And y'all know how bullies, you know, you know how bullies operate. They bully others, especially others that's happy because in the inside, they are empty. They're sad. So they. this is a bully. Y'all was dealing with a bully here. They gossip. They like to embarrass you. They wanted you to they wanted you to look like you was unwilling to like do good for yourself. This was a bully. Y'all being bullied here. Yeah, and I feel like they had a good mask with this Knight of Cups. They had this you see how you look like Slick Rick? This person thought they was like Slick Rick. Like they was gonna bully you, you know, one up um over you here, one up on you, I mean. All right, steal your four wands, your blessings, your heaven on earth, and and you know, you I they expect to do that to you and then you just do nothing. You just stand there and just allow this person to take your life. Like, you're not going to defend yourself. They thought, like, that was going to happen. Like, you're just going to give it up. Like, they thought you was weak. And this person mind, they thought that you was weak. They did not want to accept, you know, actuality, you know, reality. They didn't want to accept the facts, okay? So they, they put themselves in that illusion. But I'm just being stubborn and not listening. This person needs to remember they chose not to listen. They thought they was invincible. They thought they was protected by... You know, the most high, the devil, whoever, the angels. And they, listen, God, the angels don't operate that way. And any devils they're using is tricking them. All right, yeah, I feel like you guys are having fun in your life. You're, listen, you're a spirit guide, all right? And, and I'm getting ancestors as well. A lot, for a lot of you guys, your spirit guides are your ancestors here, okay? They sent you down on this planet, all right, to have fun. Okay, including the Most High as well, but I'm getting your answers are very important here because they, they play a role in your life, just like, and it makes sense, generational here, okay? So they playing a huge role in your life right now, even though they passed over, and they sent you on this planet with all the tools and resources you need for you to have fun. All you had to do was just follow God's plan in the, in the plan that, this is what your answer to say. All you have to do is follow the plan that me and God have for you. Don't get distracted, or don't, if you do get distracted, don't be distracted for too long. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Okay, because your mind will lie to you. Your heart won't. Follow your heart. If you find yourself still loving someone that's toxic, 
All right, and you see that they talk, you need to do a cord cutting. All right, that's not your, your heart line, so you just need to cut that attachment. Don't blame the heart for why you made bad decisions. No, you need to. You also need to clear your energy, which is like when you're dealing with spirituality as a whole, you got to always make sure you're cleaning your energy, okay? Even if you're dealing with someone, you, you always want to clean your energy, all right? Because it's like you always dealing. If you want to be technical, we're all dealing with spirit like every day because we're all dealing with a person's spirit. All right, and we all dealing with their damn attachments, okay? So it's like you got to know how to cleanse your space even after breakups. Don't blame your heart for why you made a bad decision. You just didn't clear your mind. You ain't clear your energy. You, your heart is mixed with their heart, all right? They, the, in, you know, the, the energy or the frequency around their heart is around your heart too. You slept with them. You kissed them. You know, whatever. <laughs> you know, there's an attachment. You need to cleanse that. But nonetheless, your ancestors, this is also heaven. Heaven on earth with me and in the heavens. This is your family watching you over in the heavens. They're like, oh, we got this plan set up for you. We're going to project that. All right, and you're going to, you know, project that in the 3D, right? And you're going to, you know, make it a reality. All right? That's all you had to do. And live and learn. Thank you, spirit. Live and learn. Have fun and live and learn. That's like the prep talk spirit gave you, God, and, and God, too. Because Y'all got to understand, our ancestors are in the heavens with the most high. A lot of people, you know, who's not tapped into the heavens is going to say, that's not true. You can't just walk in God's space. You don't know God. You don't know how friendly God is and how open God is and how much he loves his children. All right, God only shut down to the people that, well, the souls that are disobedient or that's not from him. All right, and he's also open to the to the souls that's not from this universe or didn't come from this, you know, from this cosmic womb that we're in, okay? But um, he's still, you know, he's still open to them. You know, they can they still invited. You just got to be righteous and obedient. All right, a lot of these karmics, man, they they not from this side of the universe. They not from this this side of um universe's womb, okay? They come from a different god, okay? And they need to find out who their that source is. All right, you ain't gonna be feeding off of my god anymore, honey. You're not, you're not, okay? Line and all type of stuff. I'm getting a karmic was like pissed at you. Like a huge vein was popping out their head. Like they was like bloodshot red. Like their eyes was bloodshot red. Like that's how angry they was at you. And now look, now they, they now they feel like they're being bullied. All right, now they feel you know like people is holding back from them. You see this? People don't want to open their energy up to them. They asking people for help and people saying no. I gave you enough time and energy and space. All right. I'm, <laughs> you know, I gave you enough of my time, energy, and my space. Like, that's it. Like, I'm not sharing no more. You see this vending machine? You have options. All right, learn how to, like, you know, learn how to make right decisions. Okay, this karmic is in fright. They are afraid of their life. They are afraid of themselves. All right, they're afraid of, like, you know, whatever they got going on is just going to cause a tower. This person has, like, good ideas to try to, like, take you down. I'm coming, baby. And it didn't work. I feel like you guys are relaxing, and this person wanted you to catch a tower, and now they had, and now that's haunting them. The, the 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 thought of them sending you a tower for nothing or whatever their distorted reason is is haunting them because they shouldn't have done it in the first place. Somebody has a mohawk. Okay, you guys are adjusting your your crown and you're keeping calm and carrying it on. Mino, stop. Yeah, look, this card keep coming out. Buy to drama or anything that's not serving you. This is the energy that you guys are in. You're saying buy to the drama, anything that ain't serving you. You are unbothered. You are the div you are the divine feminine that's unbothered. If, if this is a feminine trying to say she's a divine feminine, she's very bothered. She's very bothered by you, Star Season. And she, and she might as well just admit it, okay? Because she's give she's displaying energy of botheredness. Like I'm bothered, okay? She talks about you a lot every day. Okay, she just do too much here. Like, people are saying bye to her. People is focused on their goals. I told you, this this rat is going to jail for trying to steal your goals. Follow your goals here. Like, follow what you do as far as, like, how you're achieving your goals. It's like they need you for, like, advice and spiritual help. They need you for, like, spiritual guidance. Okay, you. it's almost like... You know, you you're supposed to be their life coach or something like that. But it's like y'all, it's like if, that, if I'm getting like if that's like for an ex, okay, y'all don't have time for that, okay. And if this is like a friend, you don't have time for that. You know, we are adults. You know, we gotta learn how to um do things on our own. And I feel like I feel like the biggest thing is not the fact that you won't help them, okay. But it's like they 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 bother you too much. They just got too much going on. You know what I mean? Like this person is the type to like throw. It's like. I, I'm getting the reason why people don't want to help them 
All right, or people don't want to accept help from them as well because they're the type to throw people problems up in their face. They're the type to make fun of people. They're the type to call a person weak because they're vulnerable. And that's like, just because a person is vulnerable does not make them weak. All right, being vulnerable, sometimes we have to open up. We have to just let it out. I feel like that's why you don't trust them and you don't want to help them because of like, I guess they did that to you one time. All right, or you just afraid to help them because they may just, you know, bite the hand that feeds you. But I feel like people don't feel gravitated to work with them because of that reason. They the type to like, hold on, baby. It's like, you know, I'm giving you advice, Star Season. You're telling me what's going on and how you feeling blocked and stuck. And then I'm going after, baby girl, hold on. And then after I'm done talking to you, I go on my phone. And then gossip about how you came to me about your problems and how I feel and see that you're weak and I'm not wasting my time and energy on you. Like, you, like I couldn't just tell you that on the phone, you know, or while we was um talking or whatever like that. You know, listen, this person was doing black magic on your girl power. Burn up, you know, your girl power here. Girl, burn up whatever makes you a divine feminine. You ain't got time for this karmic. Which one, Mino? Show me which one. Which one? All right, I'm about to click it on. About to click on it for her. Yeah, too old to be playing game. This karmic is too old to be playing the type of mind games that they're playing. The mind games is definitely like lies. You know, missing out important parts of the story. They're playing too many mind games here, and they're too old to be like trying to hide and run from their mistakes. All right, you have good credit with universe. You have a good credit. So I told y'all this on my um uh, one, Instagram. Mommy? Hold on. Which one? Humpty Dumpty fell on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So this karmic is like a Humpty Dumpty. Y'all know that song, do the Humpty Dump. No, do the Humpty Dump. All right, but I feel like this karmic's about to fall like Humpty Dumpty, and they're about to crack. They're about to crack, and their whole shit is literally about to get exposed. They may expose themselves. All right, they may just disappear. All right, but they're about to crack. They're a whole Humpty Dumpty. All right, and I'm getting, you know, I'm seeing them as Humpty Dumpty, you know, sitting on the wall. And that wall is attached to, 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 I guess, you know, your land. And then I'm sitting there waiting for you. All right, you know, it's, it's like I'm also seeing that as like a bridge. I'm actually seeing the wall as a bridge now. All right, you're trying to cross your bridge to the other side. All right, and this car is sitting there waiting. All right, I'm trying to like, I guess, cut you out of it. I'm also seeing from Dora, the grumpy old troll that lives under the bridge. I'm the grumpy old troll that lives under the bridge. Hey, that's how he <laughs> that's how he did it. Okay, I remember Dora. I used to watch Dora. Okay, and I feel like that's them. This karmic's a troll. They fucking Humpty Dumpty. All right, this karmic is a lot of fucking characters. They're a huge character right now, you guys. They're a huge character. They're known for being like this. Look, look at them. They're known for doing this too. They'll watch you online and be screaming. Ah! <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. But this is dumb. Screaming behind the fucking computer or laptop. Da -da 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 -da! Um, I know karmics be doing that when they watch me. I know. <laughs> I know y'all be watching me looking like this. <laughs> so I know y'all karmics doing the same thing. They be scrolling. Let me look up Divine Feminine on Facebook. Let me look up on Instagram. And then they see you, you know, you unbothered. They see you and bother, and this is them. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise y'all I'm done. Now, which is funny to me because they, they're really, like, catching a headache over this. They really are catching a headache. Like, that big vein is really popping through their, their, their head because of you doing your thing. All right? Knee high, private eye on social media, mad at your glow up. They're mad at your glove. They're mad because you're doing your damn thing. You are a girl boss. That bothers them that you are a girl boss. That you a boss. Hell, let alone, it's like, you being a boss alone is is this too much for them. You heading towards abundance. Your ancestors about to drop a big bag for you. Okay, listen, financial management here. All right, your finance, your finance is about to get better. I feel like you guys should definitely invest in you and learn the skills you need to help grow your career or business. I feel like y'all definitely should, like, put in, you know, well, invest in your business. There we go. Invest in your business. Okay, pay for, like, certain classes that will give you, like, certificates and stuff. All right, I'm even getting, I'm getting cooking classes. Some of you guys are paying for a cooking class or you are a teacher of a cooking class. Some of you guys are, like, chefs and you may teach a cooking class. Maybe an online cooking class. That's cool. All right, yeah, this karmic is hurt over your money, though. And they, they hurt 
over your money because you're making money more than them. They that's literally what they're thinking. You're making more money than me. They are demonic. Are right, they keep trying to like catch up and get to your level and it's like they're going to die before they get there. Okay? They're hurt over their creativity. It's like this there's, there's something in their head that's like blocking them from like fully moving forward. All right? They can't mm -mm, Yeah, it's like something is blocking them in their mind. Like their mind is like blocked. Life goes on with or without this karmic, and I feel like they're mad because you chose to move on without them. All right, I have more to offer than body. I know my worth. I feel like a, a karmic is like chasing after pooms, okay, or like chasing after like D I C K. All right, I don't feel like she knows her worth. I feel like this is someone that's trying to say like, like you know, they trying to say this about you that you're chasing after sex here, but you guys, you you know your worth here. You know your worth. I feel like a karmic don't know their worth here. I feel like a karmic do a lot of sex magic here they give like a lot of their sexual energy away to like i guess spirits and actual people to get what they want here they have no worth they have no self value okay they're, they're yeah listen this is why they feel lonely in the inside they know what they've done this is like someone that like slept with somebody all right to like gain something in return and now they feel like a slut they feel slutty all right they they, they could even like have like a man and it's hard for them to look into their man's eyes Knowing that they did this. This is eating them up. This is eating them up. This is what they get. Look. And you want to keep being a shiro and fighting against their, their, their bullshit bully attacks. All right? You guys are powerful as hell. You will do big things. That's what your ancestors are saying. You will do big things. All right? And this karmic, they need to give up the drama. It's them who needs to let go of the drama. You know that you are beautiful. You know that you are strong. All right? And with this muse here. What is muse? Let me look up muse. I think this is like inspiration, creativity. Let me just double mommy. check. Yes, baby girl. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Yes. Okay, it's from Roman. In Greek and Roman mythology, each of the nine goddesses, the daughter of Zeus, and um, I can't pronounce that one. Menmosine. <laughs> My man probably know what it is. The daughters of Zeus and I guess his, his wife, okay, who pursued, who preside over the arts and sciences. Wow, okay, okay. Muse. Okay, what is, let me see. Okay, some of y'all could be a daughter of Zeus here. All right, I know that I am. Okay, maybe one of you guys are one of the muses here. Okay, one of you, some of you guys may be one of, one of Zeus' daughters, and one of them is um, the muses, okay, the nine goddesses. Okay, a person or, pres or presified force who... Is the source of inspiration for a creative artist. Yeah, that's someone that's inspirational. All right, I feel like, you know, this karmic, they wanted you to take a break from whatever makes you inspirational. All right, but fuck them. I just wanted y'all to know that, okay? They were setting that tension out a lot for you to just take a break and, and just be sat down. All right, but for a lot of you guys, y'all you, could have took a mental vacation or a vacation, and now you're ready with this. You got this. You're ready. All right, I feel like you're ready to, like, you know, put yourself out there, and this bitch, she came with her black magic watching you. Came with her black magic, her evil eye watching all right saying please stop hating on your glow please mommy, stop me, please stop mommy, can you mommy. stop just leveling up can you stop so i can finally catch up to you i'm running out of breath please no you're not gonna stop okay she needs to elevate her mindset okay so she can stop thinking how she's thinking ain't nobody after her dumb ass she just needs she just need help Okay, she needs help. That's all it is. She needs help. She's mentally um, disabled. Okay, she has a disability and it's in her mind. All right? This is not to make fun. I'm dead serious. She's, she's disabled. All right, I know this karmic is mentally distorted. That's why they think the way they think. They see things how they see it. And, you know, it's, 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 it's their mind. I'm getting like it's more like their mind. It's their thoughts. All right, they think a lot and their thoughts is bad. It's distorted discombobulated outside of this reality here they're definitely being tricked and fooled all right by the devil here look and you guys are transforming transformation we have scorpio energy here you guys are transforming okay into a beautiful butterfly wow your emotions are transforming soon how you felt about this karmic in the situation you're not gonna be feeling like that anymore i feel like this karmic they want to get out of their feelings but they don't know how it's like they're locked in it and it's because they need to heal they need to heal in order to get out of their feelings towards you they like they, they, they're very emotional towards you and it, you know and it's like they need to get out their feelings but they need to heal first i feel like you guys cried and you're giving thanks for a new day you're giving thanks with this rainbow for your spiritual gifts here 
your spirituality, your iridescent light, your give thanks. I'm getting you even giving things for, you know, this that you this cycle that you went through because it helped you heal. It helped you tap into a you know a higher and greater part of yourself. We have three rainbows here. You guys are definitely iridescent. You guys are rainbowic here. And it's time for you to receive. All right, this karmic is not about to receive the trans transformational energy that you're receiving because it's not meant for them. It's meant for you. This transformation energy that they're asking for is only for you. God, you know, coded this transformation for you here. It's not coded for them, star seeds. This is the part. This is what this karmic's problem is. All right, is that they're too caught up with receiving what you have. They are very childish. I don't care if they're older than you or the same age. They are childish. All right, they are childish, 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 okay? Not childlike, but childish. They are not like you, okay? Uh-oh, I got to press the, the ad. There we go. You was watching it for a while. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, you guys, listen, you guys overcame those emotions that you was feeling that wasn't yours. A lot of you guys was feeling their emotions. And I feel like that was the plan to, like, confuse you and make you think that that's how you feel but y'all realize it wasn't your emotion it was theirs and i feel like you overcame all of that you overcame that that was almost like a part of your mission for you to overcome their emotions here you feeling their emotions and you did you're about to receive a lot of strength from ogun here father ogun you're about to receive a lot of his strength here yeah look follow your bliss ogun wants you to follow your bliss i'm getting he's giving you this courage and strength so you can continue to follow your bliss all right, I'm getting the doors of gratitude is opening up for you. It's like you guys gave thanks a lot. You're very humble and appreciative. And I'm getting, you know, God and the spirits have a present for you. All right, I feel like I'm seeing like, you know, the doors of gratitude is actually like all of your gifts, the promises, blessings, and wishes that you've been waiting for. It's that new life, that new life, okay? You're walking into that. You're walking into the sun, the heavens, all right? Heaven on earth here, your new life. Yep, be open, I told you. Look at it as a curtain then, all right? That's your heaven on earth. They keep trying to peek, but it don't matter. All right, this is your heaven on earth. This karmic is not invited to the promised land. They're not invited to the 5D. All right, listen, we are still cleaning up a lot. Look, connected. We are all connected, and we are still cleaning up a lot of this 3D mess. Order from chaos is happening right now in the midst of certain towers happening that have to happen, all right, in order for order to come from the chaos. Hold on, baby. And there's a lot of hidden chaos that's happening that need to be destroyed. All right, but... um. Just know we are still ascending into this heaven on earth, this new earth. And it's it's up to this karmic to make the right decision, all right? And we're all connected with karma. We're all connected with the with the decisions that we've made. Mina, you want me to go through the whole entire YouTube thing? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, look, integrity. You're about to, like, you know, receive a lot of integrity and courage from Ogun here. A lot of integrity and courage. And look, money and abundance. Your ancestors literally about to um, bless you and gift you with a lot of prosperity and abundance here. Money, prosperity, and abundance. That's what, yeah. This karmic is watching you with, with, while they're, like, they're watching you facing a lot, while they're facing a lot of difficulties. And it's like, some, it's like their crown. They have, like, maybe they could be a bit, like, you know, slow up there. So they really don't, pro they can't, like, process things quickly. And they're trying to compare, I'm getting they're trying to compare themselves to you, like, you know, and this is a lot of this happening subconsciously. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person know that they 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 could be a bit slow, so they're trying to say like you're slow like them. All right, but I'm also getting like subconsciously too. Like whatever this person is saying about you, that's how they feel about themselves subconsciously, and they're trying to put it out on you, Star. See, this person got a lot going on. They need healing. All right, they need to heal. Yeah, they're inspired by you. This is their eye when they look at you. They get inspired, but within them, don't know how to like process that energy so they get jealous the opposite of inspiration is envy y'all i hear her she needs to wait she want me to go through the whole youtube channel all right of crybabies and find a video that's she gotta wait and god sees them god sees them watching you trying to like you know cover up your blessings with their energy like steal your energy here yeah Cover up your blessings with their energy so they will receive it. They're trying to find different ways. You can, if that don't even make sense. Honestly, how I'm seeing it in my head don't make sense. But they're trying to find different ways to take your blessings. All right, because it's like the the typical way of, you know, using magic didn't work. So this person is trying to think outside the box. And that's probably why all this weird shit is happening even in my dream state. Okay? But, um, 
But yeah, look, God is speaking with you, and so is your ancestors. Your great-grandparents, um, they're, yeah, great-grandfather, he's watching you. Now, I'm getting your ancestors here. He's watching you, his great-grandfather. All right, great-grandmother, we got the Andrew, and we said all that. And they're, they're watching you, and they're telling you to keep going. They're watching you. They're watching you have your heaven on earth here. All right? It's like the karmics, it's like what they're realizing that it don't matter what they say about you, it still don't change their life. All right? And it's like talking, it's like, uh, I'm, or they're going to soon realize this. All right? And it's it's like talking about you, it can make them feel better temporarily, but then it's like they get right back into that energy. Talking about you is like a, a scent, is like a way for them to charge up so they won't be like in that low vibration. All right, but the moment they stop talking about you, they're right back in that low vibration. Marie Laveau is still here. Good Juju is all around you. Why won't you just be be patient? All right, we have Mbaya Ni Panda. I hope I don't know if I said it right, but we have Radical Rebirth. Okay, you're about to experience a huge Radical Rebirth. All right, that's your transformation. All right, this Carmen tried to call you raggedy. All right, who can, listen, they really trying to trigger you. I'm picking up all that insults, the light in the dark, okay? I want y'all to know, all right? It's because if you're feeling raggedy and you don't know where it's coming from, it's coming from them, so clear your energy. Yeah, look, she knows she in shame here. Lady Bu um, Bubby Susie. This, listen, this Carmen know that they are in shame, all right? Because they see you in pleasure energy. Oh. Throughout the whole video, crying and whining over stuff. That's not fair. It's not right. Dang. Like, that's all I hear is you complain about this one. <laughs> I know y'all don't mind, but, you know, I just, I like my videos to be quiet sometimes. Yeah, we have sacred lusts here. Listen, this karmic was lusting over your energy. All right, and, and and I'm getting lusting after your energy here, too. Like, when it was after energy, it was in, like, lustful energy. All right, listen. A karmic could have been very lustful with, like, a spirit here as well. And mm, that backfired. Yeah. Wow. This could be why they in shame. All right, because they could have, like, you know, play with themselves to, like, manifest sex magic to, like, give to a spirit, God, deity. And it didn't work because it's, like, the spirits honor you. It's like the spirits, you know, look at you more worthy, okay? You're more, like, you're worth it to the spirits. Not and in this karma, they're not really worth it there. And if they was, they wouldn't have done that. This is why they feel shameful as well, all right? It's like they feel shameful and you feel worthy, all right? They can tell, like, you, that, damn, this karma about to crash here. They are about to crash, star seeds. All right, they're about to crash here. Look, I feel like you went through many seasons with this karmic. And I'm getting you went through many seasons with Nana Baluki. All right, even I'm getting with slavery. Her spirit was around you. You could have been, you know, um, praying to Mama Baluki around slavery. All right? But um, you went through a lot with this damn karmic. She spied on you too damn much. All right? She spied on you too much here. Because you're spiritual here. You live out loud. You're creative. All right, you're healing. It's like she's inspired by you. She is. She don't have to admit it. You know she is. All right? And that's why she's watching you. But she did too much. She did too much outside of watching. She was, like, spying, stressing over you, overanalyzing, overthinking, all right? Coming up with shit that don't make sense. She was just doing too much here. It's like she was obsessing over the fact we have Izan. Izan here, miracles. She's, she was obsessing over your miracles here. Over the fact that you're a goddess here. We have surrender. She needs to surrender to um your intuition because your intuition is right your intuition is always going to overpower hers because she's distorted here she have demons all right my aunt is here about to give her her karma i don't care what this karma tried to say this karmic have demons all over them they self-sabotage themselves here malambo malambo okay they need maybe they need to work with um malambo to re to release that self-sabotaging spirit that's on them all right we have brazen here they're not they're not confident they're not confident not like how they project. They're not. They're very insecure. When they get around other people that shining bright, we have Mama um, Jub Jumbo. Mama Jumbo. I hope I said it right. But when they get around other people that's shining, that's naturally shining bright, they get insecure because they are in false light. That false light is, I'm healing. You know, I'm ascended. But really, they're, 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 they are in shadow. All right? That false light is really is really a shadow I'm getting. It's, Yeah. Yeah, secrets revealed. Yeah, that's what's being revealed. Like this karmic false light is really a shadow. 
Okay, yes, yeah, shadow could also be could be used as um as light as well, you guys. You, you know, a person that's in their shadow, they could be surrounded by a whole bunch of people that's in light. Okay. They could be surrounded by a whole bunch of light, and it's only that shadow that's standing out, right? So <laughs> they could be like a whole bunch of light workers that's about to call out this karmic for being dark here. Alright, because they they too busy trying to call out other people for being dark. You could be a light worker, you could be a part of that person that's gonna call them out. Now, what I'm also getting star seeds. Excuse me, now I'm also getting is that you remember I said darkness absorbs, okay? So this person is just absorbing a whole bunch of light that's not theirs and it's false here. And that's what's about to be exposed. You see how this light look a little false? It don't look real, okay? So that's how they light look to other people. It's false. It's not real light. This is not naturally, this is not did not naturally generate from your, from your cosmic womb that's inside of you. You did not grow from the inside out here. You stole that, okay? You stole it. And that's what's about to be revealed with the secret reveal, Queen of Sheba, Queen Mother Nanny. All right, yeah. As these secrets be revealed, you're going to be liberated. That liberation is you being set free from this karmic lies. They're trying to keep you tied up, you know, by lying on you here. All right, and that's, and I feel like their secret's about to be revealed and you're going to be set free. You're going to be feeling liberated again. I feel like you already was. This karma was trying to take your, liber your liberated spirit from you. All right, but they can't here. You're you're shining, and they want to keep that a secret so they can sit up here and steal your light. We're in an age of Aquarius. We're not in the age of Pisces no more. You can't do that anymore. All right, it's time for the wounded healers to stand up and speak up against this karmic and and what, whoever else that hurts you. We are the wounded healer. We are meant, okay, to heal. And we're also meant with. I'm getting like the wounds here. We're meant to heal with our wounds. Exactly. We're meant to heal with our wounds. Sekmek energy is here. You don't have to eat the strawberry no more. All right. A lot of you guys have Sekmek within you here. Okay. Wow. This is really sad here. Look. Scarcity. This karmic. Oh, my God. I was going to say her name. Sukuyat. I don't know. Sorry, goddess. But this is the problem. This karmic is in scarcity energy too much. Their mindset is in scarcity mindset here. Okay. And like, like I've been saying, it don't matter what they say about you. It don't change the fact about them. Okay, and it's like your little flaws do not, you know, outweigh their bullshit. <laughs> okay, don't outweigh that, star seeds. All right, this person ain't no damn good. I'm telling y'all that right now, and I'm getting they lied. Oh my god, they, they lied to your dad here. All right, spirits also telling me they lied. Um, on my dad, they lied to my dad. I'm I'm sure he ain't listening to y'all hoes anyway. All right. Ooh. It says beauty by day and hag by night. Okay, I can't pronounce the name, but it says here she is an energy vampire, also known throughout the diaspora as old Higi and Boo Hag. Rather energy or blood for vampires, there is never enough to go around. All right, yeah, listen, this y'all was y'all dealing with a vampire. This is an energetic vampire. Hold on, it says she also says here you have so much more than you realize. You have access to unlimited joy love good times pleasures and prosperity be grateful for your your riches here you guys have a lot of riches here a lot of rich prosperity rich pleasure good times okay oh she is in trinidad here i like her spirit i see the old hag that's behind her and that's her shadow she has to be like that seem like you know i feel like she sucks back the energy that people took from her all right but y'all dealing with an energy vampire and the thing is they don't know how to like generate themselves out of this energy energy all right, generate, you know, whatever energy they need to get themselves out of this scarcity tactic. It's like they don't know how to ascend out of being an energetic vampire as well. All right, this is, if this person calls themselves like they're using their dark side for good, they're not. They're not like how this goddess is. All right, because I, I do feel she used her darkness righteously. That's why she's honored on this book here. And I'm actually going to look her up because I feel gravitated towards her. Some of y'all should look up these goddesses if you feel gravitated towards them. Okay. But like she said, let me read it again, 21, and I'm going to be done. Pray, Mommy. Pray. It says, she says here, Pray, and she's shadow. It says shadow guidance. So she's Pray. definitely a shadow guide, um, shadow, um, Pray, Mommy. goddess. You got to wait. You keep begging in my videos. You have to wait. All right. It says here, you have so much more than you realize. All right, listen, you just have to go within to find that, okay? You have access to unlimited joy, love, good times, pleasure, and prosperity. Be grateful for your riches here. You guys can, un can unlock all this unlimited energy by just tapping into love, okay? And it says here, 
Okay, it also says embodiment. Stop going to the ocean and asking for a temple full of water. It doesn't like that when you are desperate. But scarcity and lack are an illusion here. Yeah, it, it seems like this person is going to the spirits in like a desperate energy. And that's why the spirits is not giving it to them. All right, and also, it could also be that there's a lesson that needs to be learned. So the spirits can't just give them what they want. Okay, but it also says here, <laughs> prosperity. Oh. Also says here, prosperity is believing that there is an overflow, more than enough love, happiness, well-being, and money to go around. Prosperity is, is also love, happiness. I explained that, all right? But a lot of y'all prosperity is going to be in material form, okay? It could even be a house, all right? It says vampires take from others because they don't have enough life force for themselves. This person don't have enough energy. They can't generate any energy. That's why they suck. Bless you. All right, this is, that is scarcity. Okay, that is scarcity consciousness. When you embody lack, you are always hungry, tired, and jealous. All right, make a gratitude list. What are you grateful for? Goddess declarations, my goddess, I'm sorry, my Blessings always overflow, okay? So, I say my goddess by mistake. I think she's talking to you guys as, like, my goddess, okay? She look at you as a goddess here, all right? She may mother you, all right? So, yeah, beauty by day and hag by night. Yeah, but she's not negative. We're going to look her up here, but you see this karmic is in a scar it's their mindset they in a scarcity mindset that's why they're very jealous here and it's like whatever spirits they're working with to take from you don't like their jealousy because it's making them stink and it's making them you know see things from a low vibrational you know perspective okay it says damn let me see Sukuya. Sukuya. Okay. Sukuya. The Sukuya. Okay. In Dominica. 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 All right. St. Lucia in Trinidad. Guadalupe. Folklore in Haiti, Louisiana. Grenada and elsewhere in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. So she was in Louisiana. So she was definitely in um, America and Bahamas, Barbados, Jamaica, Guyana. Okay. Is it a kind of blood sucking hag here? Yeah, it look beauty by day, but hag at night. Okay, so Mommy Hey, I have a your wipes. That's it. Yeah. Hi, Mommy. I feel like certain people may even call themselves a what? Sukuya. A sukuya, like oh that's a sukuya. Yeah, like if somebody call you yeah, that, yeah, you definitely I have that I power. You have you can embody yeah, yeah both that beauty by day but vampire energy at night and it's like the same way how this karmic is being an energy vampire and sucking the life force and and, and energy from you you can do the same i feel like a lot of you guys choose not to but i feel like you guys are calling back a lot of your energy and that shadow side of you could be the sukuya all right that's sucking all that darkness back all right because i'm getting even she's trying to steal your sacred darkness all right and take and suck back all of that light all right and whatever else she took that, you know, she tried to tamper with is going to be transmuted back into your energy. Okay? I hope y'all understanding me. Suku ya. Suku ya ya. <laughs> yeah, some say she turned into a, a fireball. Fireball. Okay. Yeah. That could even be like, I'm seeing a dragon, so that could also represent her turning into a dragon. Okay, because, you know, a lot of meta, a lot of melanated people are dragons here. But she is beautiful. Even her hag self is beautiful. I feel like her hag self, you know, she can still trick with her beauty. Make a person think that that's who she really looks like, how she looks like, but it's not. Okay? So I feel like you guys are suku, y'all. That's not, that's not bad. Okay? It's nothing bad. You guys just need to know how to, like, tap into that energy. Okay? And you still come from a divine lineage, even though you may have qualities or archetype of a, a, a sukuya. Okay? You're sucking all of your energy back, and that's the damn truth. I don't care what this karma said. You're getting all your energy back. Okay? I was dealing with an uh, energy vampire here. Okay? <laughs> dealing with an energy vampire. Now, sucking all your energy, and you're tapping into your sukuya energy, your sukuya self. All right? And, and taking back what this karmic try to take from you. Okay, look at your crown. I told you y'all crown. Okay, y'all are royal here. You guys are royal. God royal um child here. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I'm getting like this karmic try to say like you're an energy vampire and you admitted that you're an energy vampire. Mm -hmm. This karmic needs to admit that they're an energy vampire. I don't mm -hmm. feel like you have admitted to that. Okay? And you saying you a suka ya ain't admitting to anything. All right, this is, I feel like you are admitting that this person was trying to take from you. Why they keep trying to put stuff with you? They that, they, they never been in time out before. They that big of a kid. You know, they really don't want to take um accountability. We have Ma Wu Lisa. It's like your suku ya. Listen, you being a suku ya. Where's she at? Suku ya, where's she at? Where's she at? I'm about to, because I put a lot of my cards back. Y'all just saw that. Where's she at? Well, nonetheless. Be your man want me. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you being a suku ya is a part of your cosmic power. That's a part of your cosmic power. Dark. All right, sacred darkness is a part of cosmic power here. Don't allow this karma to manipulate you because this bitch is she. She's willing to tap into the darkness to to do what she gotta do. But yeah, she's afraid of you knowing. All right, she's a coward. All right, you come from a divine lineage. Let's read about Sarah Lacali here. All right, number six. Oh yeah, we already read about her. We did. I keep getting that. Your ancestors protect the holy grail. Your ancestors protect the Holy Grail, which is real now. All right, the Holy Grail is real. I'm sorry that you don't have one, Karmic, but, you know, we have one, and we honor it, and we treasure it. Your your ancestors protect the Holy the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is you. Divine ones walk beside and within you. Trust. Trust. Your ancestors protect the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is you. Divine, walks, divine ones walk beside and within you. Trust. Okay, your ancestors want to remind you that you are not alone. You are never alone. They are rooting for you. Didn't I tell you that they are proud of you? And they are um they sent you onto this planet to have fun. All right, they ask you to honor your spirit guides and call upon the, the power of the divine. I told you a lot of your ancestors are your spirit guides. Call upon them. All right, create or nourish your, your ancestral your ancestral altar or shrine. Unbury your ancestors, unbury them. All right, by crying for them. You know, off you know, I listen. I did a lot of work to unbury my ancestors. I did a lot of dancing. I danced to let them out. Okay, I, I cried. You know, I liberated myself, okay? Speak their names. Your divine lineage ancestors may be blood-related or culturally or spiritually connected. Okay, that's what I was saying yesterday. All right, your lineage could be blood-related here, okay, or culturally or spiritually connected. So it's like we could be connected, you know, on a, I guess, you know, a DNA level through the culture, the spiritual connection, okay? And some of us, we did share the same blood as these answers, like I said, with Marie Laveau. A lot, you know, a lot of you guys did share that same blood as her, but times change, you know? We went through a lot of crossing of the bloodlines and stuff, so a lot has changed, but we are tapping into the spiritual connection. We're going, we're going to where it originally started, okay? And this is, this is it. I am my sister and my sister is me. That's what Maria is saying. It's like you're like her sister. All right, she is your sister and your sister is her. Okay, how about that? I am your sister and my sister is me. That's what she's saying. Okay? Look, look what's, be look what's behind this one. Look. Look, synchronicity. Y'all had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Josh. And she was a hairstylist. Yeah. Yeah. It says this is a time of increase for you. Hey. That's what she said. I'm actually hearing her voice. Okay, you have stop. You are heirs to the rich or no heirs. There we go. You are heirs to a rich heritage of divine prosperity. Accept your ancestral inheritance. Good juju is abundance. Luck is being supported by the universe. Okay, abundance is the goddess, God's is God's way, just as you want abundance for those who come after you, your creator embraces wealth for you too. Okay, all I do is win, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just Mommy, as you Mommy. want abundance for those who come after you. So that's like your generation, your kids. Your creator embraces wealth for you too, okay? Father God. All right, you guys are about to like, you have been granted the greatest inheritance. Yeah, embrace your divine abundance. Yeah, and it's like a part of your like, I'm getting Marie is like a part of like your ancestral like 
you I guess you I'm getting she's a part of your inheritance that power okay that power that you know that she says you have a part of it a part of that is within you too okay I need to start um trusting what I first hear because I literally heard spirit say um Marie Lavu okay um is a part of your inheritance all right and you know the inheritance is like it's all you know only the bloodline can inherit that so she's a part of your bloodline like it says here all right and we go back to Sarah Lakali said your divine lineage ancestors may be blood related or culturally culturally or spiritually connected all right yeah okay this person let, let's just say you have a karmic parent yeah they are considered like your ancestor in the 3d all right or your family member because the blood is there but when you tap into the spiritual part you'll see that you are or they're cut from the bloodline so you have no real ties no spiritual ties all right and culturally they're disconnected okay so it's like any of their karma won't fall on you because you're no longer connected with them all right and then once you pass over to the other side and have a new life i'm guarantee you that same ancestor or mom dad whatever is not going to be your parent all right because you did the healing work necessary to integrate with your real parents your real spiritual family all right a lot of time we you know we incarnate into certain families certain bloodlines because you know we're there to like i guess teach them the lesson or all right or help break that bloodline out of that generational curse we're light workers all right but sometimes we volunteer to help out certain yeah, bloodlines yeah. sometimes we're not even in the same bloodline that we come from all right so yeah i, I met a few karmics that was a part of a family okay that was you know and they was adopted by that family so they can get them their self together like you know you're going to be adopted into this bloodline and they and they're going to work with you to help you you know soul ascend help your soul ascend because earth is school all right so you come here to like you know do assignments and complete missions and stuff like that okay and then you have other times like that is your soul family like the family that you know you have this in this life is really is your bloodline y'all just have a lot of work to do okay like with my ancestors they are really my bloodline i just know that um i have a lot of work to do as far as like breaking them out of that curse because a lot of my ancestors they was like even though they was godly they was asleep all of them was sleeping okay and they all died of um generational health problems so you know <clears throat> me and my kids and you know my mom and all that we're here to break out of that all right but um there's also a lot of people that think they are the generational curse breaker and they're not. They're the generational curse starter, okay? And a lot of those ancestors are going to be coming to, look, caught up here. A lot of them ancestors are going to be coming to scoop up their, their little karmic family members because they're just causing more trauma for the bloodline. All right, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is giving me family ancestors. Somebody's getting caught up by the, by the ancestors for doing spell work. And look, I tell you, somebody's grass is fake. Their light, their light is fake. And that's why they're getting arrested. Look, I told you, they're childish as hell. All right, they over here trying to bully you because your light is purified. And they and they, and they, they come from a toxic bloodline. They know their bloodline is toxic. All right, and they know their bloodline is toxic, Starseed, straight up and down. Yep, trying to send you blockages cause a lot of karma for them. But I love y'all so much. Have a great day.